last week from Thursday through until Saturday was the Books Are My Bag campaign. This year's campaign was really exciting, there were some new tote bags released, the theme was Desert Island Reads and I've done a whole video talking about which books I would take to a desert island, as have many other people, so do go and check those out. But of course the whole point of the Books in My Bag campaign is to go out and support your local bookshops. So I may have gone on a small book crawl. I dragged along one of my flatmates. To be honest, she didn't take much convincing and together we went to a few bookshops across London. So today I'm going to tell you what bookshops we went to and which books I bought. So we started off at one of my very favourite places, possibly the prettiest place in London, and that is Persephone Books. And I bought a tote bag because I can never have enough bookish tote bags. These bags are especially lovely though and I've been wanting one for ages and I will show you why. These are lovely and robust and they have a gusset so you can fit lots of stuff in them. And then the lining is this design which is a vintage pattern design like you get on the end papers. I, th I think this one is from the Winds of Heaven by Monica Dickens, except that one's in pink and this is in Persephone Grey. Also, there's a pocket in there for your phone. I did also buy a book at Persephone and this is Diary of a Provincial Lady by E.M. Delafield. And this is the pick for the book club that I'm in this month. So I was very excited to hear that there was a Persephone version of it. And the end papers look like this. Of course we got the lovely bookmark as well. So from Persephone we went to the London Review Bookshop and there I bought a book that I've had on my TBR for a long time actually and I haven't actually seen it in the flesh. So when I saw it I thought oh I, I will I will buy that because I want to read it. It is Janice Galloway's Clara. This is about Clara Schumann who was the wife of of Robert Schumann, the composer. Clara Schumann is a historical figure that I am very interested in, so I thought this would be a good way to learn more about her, and she was a composer and musician in her own right as well. The guy at the counter also gave me a free pencil, which won't focus, but it says London Review Bookshop, and it's green. Next up, we went to Foils. But before I show you what's in the bag, I will show you something else that I got from Foils, but I bought this on their website the other day because I didn't think I was going to have time to pop in and get it before we did a read along of this. And this is Poor Things by Alistair Gray. A whole lot of us are doing a buddy read of it, I think. And yeah, it sounds quite disturbing and dark. Along similar lines to The Dumb House by John Burnside. It's also Scottish and yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about this because I think it's going to be quite grotesque. It should be a good one to discuss, I think. So the first thing is a book that I have read three times now, but I've read it in audiobook and my physical copy is back in New Zealand and I, I just love this book so much. So I, I wanted to have my own copy of The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Also my flatmate wants to read it and she was umming and ahhing between this and another book and I said, well, I'll, I'll buy this because I want to have a copy of it and then she can also read it. I kind of knew that I wasn't going to get out of foils without, without buying this. And you, you may have guessed what it is. It's illustrated Harry Potter. This really has exceeded expectations. It is so incredibly beautiful and I haven't had the chance to look through it all really thoroughly yet. I kind of want to just read the whole thing again so that I can experience the illustrations as I read it. My flatmate also bought one of these because it is a um, signed first edition. It is signed by Jim McKay who is the illustrator. So she was flicking through her copy last night and I was like going, oh no, no, I don't want to see it because I want to experience it as I read it because then it can maybe be a little bit like experiencing Harry Potter for the first time. Maybe just a teeny bit. I'll just show you a couple of illustrations from the beginning though because it's so, so cool. Oh, it's McGonagall. And the, the beginnings of each chapter. This is the front end paper of the castle. 
finally we ended up at Waterstones Piccadilly which is a huge Waterstones it's absolutely massive and I haven't been in there and had a good chance to have a look around there was one book that I was after but I, I hadn't managed to find it any other places so I thought that Waterstones Piccadilly would probably have it and they did indeed it's a very small edition of it though that's the only thing this is A Cavern of Black Ice by J.V. Jones and the reason that I picked this up is because of Caitlin. I blame you completely, Caitlin. I've recently been getting back into fantasy in a big way and this is a book that Caitlin said was as good as Rothfuss and Robin Hobb. It was going to happen. She said that it's beautifully written and a great story and that it's really underrated. This edition has really, really tiny print but on the plus side it's not going to break my back where I'm carrying it around. As always, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have bought any books during this year's Books in My Bag campaign. I would love to hear all about your bookish adventures in bookshops. I'll see you next time.